Here we are checking out the new Twisby VAC 700 long awaited pen. Actually, I just got these in today as I'm shooting this video. This is the first, probably about two hours ago. Um, this is the first time I have ever seen these pens. So you're getting kind of my first impression here. Um, there are three different colors. There's amber, blue, and smoke. And that is consistent with the 540s that came out in these colors before. Talk more about those in a little bit. But the three different colors, all demonstrators, which means they are translucent and you can see what's going on inside of them. There is, as far as I understand, going to be a clear VAC 700 as well. But as of the making of this video, there, the clear is not out yet. So it's only these three color demonstrators that I have right now. So sorry about that. Um, there are some subtle differences between the VAC 700 and the 540. Um, the biggest one, though, is the filling mechanism. This uh, VAC 700, the VAC gets its name from its vacuum filling capabilities. Um, this is a filling mechanism that is not incredibly common, but it has a slider that goes up and it's got a seal on the inside. And you pull it up and as you push it down, it pressurizes inside the pen and then it drops off there at the last second. There's kind of a conical drop off inside the pen. And as you drop it off, it uh, releases that pressure and then it shoots the ink up into the pen. That's the basic idea of this thing. nib size is different for the 540 as it is for the VAC 700. I have better pictures, but I'll give you an idea live here of what you're looking at in terms of the nib. So it's a longer nib. It's a little narrower. The wings actually don't come out quite as wide on the VAC 700 as they do on the 540, but you can get a difference in size there. All of the nibs that are on the VAC 700 are Bach nibs. That's, uh, that's the way that Twisby is moving now. They used to have Schmidt nibs. Some of the 540s are still transitioning over at this, at this point, but the VAC 700s are all gonna be Bach. The, uh, another subtle difference is on the cap of the 540, that has got, um, sorry, on the clip, it's a uh, shiny metal on the 540, and on the VAC 700, it's this kind of powdery um, satin type finish. It's got a little bit of texture to it. It's not as smooth as, the 540 clip. So you can see a little bit there um, what's going on with it. And it's got kind of this line that goes down the middle uh, of it. So kind of a neat clip. It's definitely a different, it, it kind of matches the engraved part of uh, the center band here. That's what the finish looks like is that engraving. So it's got Twisby on the center band and then it says VAC 700 Taiwan on the back. The 540 has Twisby and then it says Diamond 540 Taiwan on the back. But you can see the difference in the engravings there. I'm getting a lot of glare from the lights, but you get the basic idea. So there you go. The grip section on the VAC 700 is removable, like so. So it makes it easy to clean and maintain this pen. And um, actually, I have a wrench as well that comes with the the box on the VAC 700, it's the same box, same size and design and everything on the VAC 700 as it is on the 540, if you're familiar with that at all. And if you open it up and you pull out the back here, um, on the VAC 700, it's actually got a couple replacement O-rings. Um, it gives you a little tip of silicone grease to keep that, uh, that, sorry, 
gives you a little tub of silicone grease there to keep that uh, um, vacuum piston all sealed up. Um, and it also has this little wrench. So you unscrew the back here, just like you would when you're filling the pen. But if you look, you can see there's a couple of notches cut out. All right, come on, autofocus, there we go. There's a couple of notches cut out right there. You can see how it's round and then it goes flat. Well, you just take your wrench and you put it right there on the notches and you go with it um, counterclockwise, okay? It's got the blue, that's the, this blue part comes off to protect it. Um, that, uh, that blue part comes off of there and it's just shiny metal on the wrench. But anyway, you put it on here, you unscrew it counterclockwise and there we go. Then your whole mechanism comes out and you can really see the, how the sausage is made here. So lots of uh, engineering going on in here and it looks like actually there might be another one of those small o-rings right there. Um, yep, there you go. Okay, so I think that is probably the same size as the other one that is on the back of the grip section. So those two replacement o-rings that they give you uh, may well, no, actually that looks to be a different size. Okay, well at this point I don't know exactly what I'm looking at here. I'll have to do more research on that. But again, this is the first time I've ever seen this pen. So I will have to do some tinkering around with it to see exactly which o-rings go where. But anyway, you get the basic idea. So then to put this thing back together, basically all you do is slide this thing in here. You'll get a little bit of pressure coming from the um, coming from the the um, seal here before before you can get it in. There we go. Okay. And then you just take and you can start it by hand if you want. You're going to go the opposite way with this. You're going to go clockwise this time. And then you just take your little wrench, put it on there. Just get it so that it's, you know, very not, I'm not going to say finger tight, but just, just past finger tight. You don't want to really wrench this thing down because that's where you can cause problems. But that, that allows you to take the piston out, makes it easier to clean, and it uh, allows you to grease that thing up so you can keep it working smoothly. So that's basically the VAC 700 and how it works. I'm going to get more into writing samples and all that kind of stuff later, but that's uh, going to give you a, a pretty good idea, at least, of, of um, how the, the thing comes apart and some of the design aspects of it. Now, there are definitely some design things going on um, that are a little bit different than the 540. You know, the overall size, um, when it's capped, is going to be a little bit longer on the VAC 700. The body is uh, a little bit bigger. The cap's a little bit bigger. It's not, it's not a huge difference, though. But what's interesting, though, is when you cap the 540 versus the VAC 700 is that capped, the VAC 700 goes much further into the cap. So the 540 is actually just a, t a little bit longer when it's capped than the VAC 700 is, even though the VAC 700 is a little bit longer pen. As far as the grip section goes, the VAC 700 is going to feel just a little bit larger because it doesn't taper as much as this 540 does. So you can see there what the difference is between the two. The VAC 700 is much more of a straight taper. Now the pen itself is a little fatter on the body, so it's got a step right there. That there's a step that goes up to the threads, and then there's a step that goes up to the rest of the body. Whereas the 540 is a little more gradual. So hopefully that's not too big of a deal for some of you who like to hold your pens further back. I know I tend to hold my pens further back. Um, my thumb is pretty much going to end up resting right on these threads of the VAC 700. I don't think it's going to bother me because the threads aren't very sharp. Um, but that's something I'm going to have to try writing with it for a while and see if it's really going to make a big difference for me. So there you have it, um, the difference between the two. Let me uncap them as well, and you can see the difference of the sizes there. Not a huge difference uh, between the two uncapped. But overall, the weight seems to be pretty similar. The VAC 700 is a little bit heavier, a little back heavier, actually. Um, the, um, the feed system is just a little bit different as well. I didn't cover that. I'm, I'm kind of doing this on the fly, so if the video seems a little disorganized, that's why. So there you go. There's your feed system. It's a little bit different. So anyway, there you go.